Okay, so today we're going to be looking at another Doctor Who figure, this time John Pertwee from the recent B&M set that came out. Um, so we're going to repaint his face, his hair, some of his clothing. But first we need to get head off, so that's going to be a case of dunking it in boiling water and seeing how it goes. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the head's come off. It's one of those that has a big old lip on it, so you have to be careful because it does misshape the neck. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off this. There we go, and then that just pushes in there quite nicely. So, first things first, we're going to use our usual base flesh tone all over, and that's Cadian flesh tones mixed with a little bit of light Vallejo flesh. that another couple of coats, let it go dry, then we can come back and start shading. Okay, so the face has now got a couple of coats on it, so what we're going to do now is use some uh, flesh wash, and I use Rykland Flesh Shade, so we're going to use that and just run that into the, into the face uh, crevices. And then one, want to open a new one. Okay, so all we're going to do there we go. So let that dry and come back, and we will sort of soften it up a little bit. Okay, so that's dry. So all we're going to do is using an almost dry brush with a lightened version of the flesh shade I'm just going to blend in those darker points there we go I'm just going to because we've blended over some of the shading on the lips etc. I'm just going to add a bit more back in. So we go, so let that dry and we'll come back and we'll paint the eyeballs. Okay so that's blended in so next job is to take some red and with a very 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 dry brush just give him some colour on his cheeks. Go. I'm also going to paint his eyeballs in. Using white. going to start blocking his hair in and I'm going to use a very light grey for that, probably Dawn Stone. There's some Dawn Stone grey. I'm going to paint them all over there and then we'll come back do the eyeballs and do some dry brushing. Okay, I'm also going to put in some eyebrows. Okay, so John appeared to have green eyes, sort of greeny hazel eyes, so we're going to use a drop of warg flush. Okay, we're going to do the pupils and the line 
above the eye. And then what we're going to do is dry brush white over the hair. So bring it down a bit and give it some texture. It's lining up, so I'll finish that, put the head on the body, come back and we'll see it's just about done. Also what I will do is, I forgot, do a lip colour. So just mix some of the red with the flesh and just highlight the lip. So when we come back you'll see that as well. Okay, so this was a nice quick easy one. So I've finished the painting. So it looks nicely like John Pertwee now, a little bit less like an Auton. Um, so I didn't do much to the body at all, just tidied up some of the back areas, added a little bit of detail to the cravat, um, but yeah, so the face I think came out really well. Happy with that one, you can go with the uh, Pat Trout one I did before, but if you want to see more of these, please uh, let me know, like and subscribe, and I'll see which ones I can do. If there's a particular doctor you want me to paint, let me know, if I've got the figure I'll certainly uh, give it a bash. But thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.